Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this is actually the end of the day, hence why my face is really shiny. My makeup isn't so great. My hair is like this and I need to wash up basically. But I wanted to film a video and I did start filming this this morning, but this is like the intro to that kind of clip. But I wanted to film a full skincare routine using only Body Shop products video. So all I'm gonna be doing is using Body Shop products for the entirety of this video. Maybe I will suggest a couple of others or maybe there is like one product that I won't use um, from the body shop but apart from that literally all of them I did used to do the body shop at home I don't do it anymore and um, I don't know if I explained why but maybe I will one day I still have loads of products from them so that's why I do this and I really love their products so I'm gonna show you my full routine I'm gonna show you the morning and then I'm gonna show you the evening routine so let's get into the video okay so it is the morning I woke up a couple of hours ago I've had my breakfast I've been doing some planning and stuff for the day which is what I always do in the mornings and now I'm gonna do my skincare I thought I would film my morning kind of autumn skincare routine I do switch up my skincare routine quite often especially when it comes to different seasons because in the winter months I want more kind of moisturizing products because it's harsh on my skin I get dry skin a little bit not really too much I have been getting dry skin on my hands which is not great but First thing that I do, oh yeah, by the way, I've got a cold, sorry if I'm sniffling. First thing that I do is I cleanse my face. This here is the cleanser that I use. This is the Drops of Life Pure Clarifying Foam Wash and I'm just gonna wash my face using this. So the next product I'm using is gonna be my British Rose Toner. This is the Petal Soft Gel Toner. So I'm just gonna pop some of this on my skin. This is a really nice kind of plumping product to the skin. It makes the skin really hydrated and glowy and plump, which is exactly what it's there for, but it just feels so nice on the skin and looks so nice and glowy so I really love this toner and I just kind of rub it in and then I like press it in sorry that the quality is not the greatest this is what my skin is looking after applying that product <laughs> cheeky toilet roll give it about 15 seconds between each step just to make sure that everything's sunk in but the next product I'm going to use is the body shop oils of life intensely revitalizing essence lotion just before I moisturize this one's quite a liquidy consistency compared to some other essence lotions that I've got and that I've used before so you have to like be careful not to spill this which is exactly what I'm trying to do right now but I actually just press this into the skin so I just go over press it in this one's quite a nice hydrating one and obviously it does have oils in it but yeah i really like this one and essence lotions are meant to be applied before moisturizers to help moisturizers sink in more i don't know if that actually works but that's just what people say so you know i'm now going to moisturize and i'm using the vitamin e gel moisture cream this is what it looks like i love gel moisturizers i'm hoping that my next product on my website is actually a gel moisturizer oh by the way this headband is off my website so if you like headbands or you want a headband i do sell them this color is out of stock but there is still pink headbands left in stock and cream so i'm just going to take some of this gel moisturizer I love them so much and like I said my next product I'm hoping for it to be a gel moisturizer I just much prefer them and I want to make products that I myself really love just look so glowy on the skin like I'll just really quickly show you how my skin looks I forgot to after the essence lotion sorry but yeah my skin is just looking so glowy now it's time for SPF this is the vitamin C glow protect lotion with an SPF of 30. This is amazing. One of my favorite products ever. I really love this. This is so glowy. I'm 100% going to repurchase this product. It literally looks so, so nice on the skin. It looks like sun cream. It does not smell like sun cream. It's really glowy on the skin. It sinks in. It's great before makeup. Like it's not going to mess your makeup up in any way. It's just so nice. And yeah, one of my favorite all time products. Oops, I got some glitter on my face. 
Um, so yeah, I'm just going to blend that in. SPF is needed all through the year, not just in summer. Because the sun is still out, even when it's not like really warm. So I'll just quickly show you my skin now. Really, really glowy, but remember that these products do sink in. Then finally, I'm going to use this. This is the Hemp Heavy Duty Lip Care. It's like a little lip balm. I'm just going to put some of this on. Nice and moisturising for the daytime. So this is my morning skincare routine. It's very glowy. It's very like hydrating. My skin does look really glowy, but that does kind of sink in after a few minutes. But I like that for under my makeup, making my skin look really nice and glowy. And yeah, usually my skin wouldn't be as red as this, but it's because I applied the products a little bit too quickly after each other. Usually I'll give it about a minute between applying each product so that each product can sink in properly. But that's my morning skincare routine. I'm really happy with it. And that's everything for this morning. So. I will probably put some makeup on and then I will see you later on when I come to take off my makeup. So it's now the evening time. As you can tell, this is the same clip as the intro, but my makeup has been on all day. As you can see, it's quite shiny because it's late on in the day. I've had it on for ages. I haven't powdered in since I did my makeup basically. So I've got to take this off. The only thing that actually stays on really well on my makeup is my eyebrows. Like they've stayed on really, really well. And my mascara as well. But when it comes to my base makeup, it does get quite oily because I do have oily skin. But anyway, I'm going to remove my makeup. I'm going to do a face mask. And then I'm going to do my evening skincare routine and show you what I do and use. So I know that the quality of the lighting isn't exactly the best in this room. But we will have to make do with it. This is what we're working with. I am gonna first of all take off my makeup using a balm cleanser. Now, this is not something that I wanna do, but I'm gonna do. But I do have a balm cleanser on my website and I do feel weird using the Body Shop one because I haven't used that one in ages. Like this one is mine. Fresh Face by Georgie Carr Lemon Scented Cleansing Balm. This is my cleansing balm. I use it every single day to remove my makeup and I like mine and I don't use the Body Shop one because, you know, I'm just biased because I like to use my own. But for today's video, I will use the Body Shop one. But if you are interested in mine, I will link my website in the description. I, if it's still in stock, because I know it's really low stock, so if it's still in stock. Um, but here, this is the Body Shop one. So if we compare the two tins, mine's a smaller tin, but it's deeper. It's still got the same millilitres of product. Both of them have got 90 mils of product in. But yeah, that's the difference between those two. But this is the Body Shop Sumptuous Cleansing Butter and it's chamomile scented. So that's what that looks like. So that's what this one looks like. It's gone a little bit grainy on the inside, which cleansing balms sometimes do go a little bit grainy, especially when it's been warmer weather, because at the end of the day, it's got oils in it and they will melt. <laughs> so and then reset back however it is so I'm just gonna take like this much on my finger because I do tend to have like a fair bit of makeup on and then I'm just gonna kind of dot that around my face a little maybe and then just put a little bit on the back of my hand just to store it for a few minutes and then I'm just gonna work that into my skin Right, I'm now going to take the excess that I left on my hand and pop both of them underneath my eyes and then I'm just going to rub that in gently and use that now to remove my eyebrows and then my eye makeup. So eyebrows first and then rub it gently on your eyes. Keeping your eyes very closed because cleansing balms are quite easy to get into your eyes but they're gentle anyway so they won't do anything bad. Right, I'm now gonna get, what you should get is a muslin cloth or some kind of like facial cloth or a flannel, but I don't have them. I'm using up some wet wipes that I've got. These are just from Lidl. I know people don't really recommend wet wipes, but I'm not using the wet wipe to remove my makeup. I'm using the wet wipe to remove the cleansing balm along with my makeup and then cleanse after. I double cleanse, you must double cleanse. You can't just use this product. Well, you can, but your skin will still have impurities in it because you need to really clean the skin this is the makeup removal step so i'm just gonna like wipe that off and i just love how easily it comes off my skin that's definitely one of their 
like great products it's a cleansing balm but then loads of brands do cleansing balms as well and they've all got slightly different you know qualities to them some of them are thinner consistency some of them are thicker different scents all that kind of thing so i've kind of removed my base makeup i'm now just going to go over my brows not really any product on there and then i'm just going to swipe over my eyes can you see that I always find that this chamomile one gets in my eyeballs more than mine does, but I don't know if it's the chamomile-ness or what, or maybe it's softer. And then I just kind of gently pull on my eyelashes a little bit just to remove excess product on my eyelashes, just in case. You know, I've forgotten how much this one gets in my eyeballs. And then take this and just swipe under. And this just thoroughly removes your makeup. I just made an error. <laughs> I just stuck my entire hand in the balm. Well, okay. Good job it wasn't my balm. This is a little bit softer than my balm, so I don't think that would have happened with mine. <coughs> but yeah, this is what my skin is looking like after I've used the balm, so all of my makeup is basically removed, but I am gonna second cleanse. I'm just gonna use what I used this morning to cleanse, which is, the ah, my cactus um, I'm just going to second cleanse using the drops of light pure clarifying foam wash like I did this morning and I just use that as like my second cleanse for the day for the evening sorry now we dry our face and we're all fresh. Fresh skin, fresh faced. So I'll either leave my skin to breathe for a couple of hours like this, just fresh, and then I'll do a face mask, or if it's a little bit later on in the evening like it is today, then I'll just do a face mask straight away. So I have many different face masks. I sometimes use one that's on my website. This is my Fresh Face by Georgia Cart Detox Clay Mask. This is a tea tree clay mask and that is currently out of stock i am reformulating it because i'm adding in some like nice preservatives so that it's just better but yeah that's out of stock at the minute anyway but today i am going to use a hydrating mask i'm going to use this hemp overnight nourishing rescue mask this is one of my favorite like more hydrating face masks so i'm excited to use that tonight i leave this on for like an hour you can leave it on it's meant for like overnight but i just leave it on for an hour and take it off because i find it irritated to have masks on overnight so yeah that's what i'll do with this one i did also do a video reviewing some of the face masks from the body shop i do own quite a lot of them and i have you know ran out of some of them but i still managed to review them and that video was my last video i think it went up yesterday so you can scroll back on my channel if you want to go and watch that one because it should be the previous video to this one but yeah i'm just gonna pop this on just for ease because i do have face mask brushes but they're in a different room so i'm just gonna use my hands for today but it's like a greeny kind of consistency it's so nourishing this is definitely a face mask that i will repurchase in the future i love this one it 100% does make my skin really really soft and you don't need like tons and tons of it like you don't need a really really thick layer so i've put the face mask on this is what it's looking like if you can see that like really nice and like moisturizing and yeah i really love this face mask so it's an absolute winner i would recommend so i'm just gonna leave this face mask on for about like half an hour ish i'm just gonna wash up do some daily tasks well evening tasks still that toilet roll is there anyway um yeah so i'm just gonna crack with some tasks then i'll come back and i will probably what i usually do is i actually have a shower to remove my face masks just because i find it so much easier so i have a shower every night i don't wash my hair every night and i won't be washing it tonight I'll be washing it in the morning, but I will be removing my face mask in the shower and just a two minute quick shower. But yeah, so I'm gonna um, go away, come back and do that. And then I'll show you my actual skincare routine for the evening with products that I keep on all through the night. Also, I thought I would just quickly mention that I do have other products that I don't use daily. For example, liquid peels. I might do a video on a liquid peel actually. 
like how to use it um, but I've got my vitamin C liquid peel so that's something I don't use all the time I've got this micro dermabrasion facial scrub that I only use once a week so there is things that I don't use daily but I still use but this is like my daily routine full of body shop products right I've had my face mask on for like 40 minutes I think and this is what it looks like I'm just gonna go in the shower wash it off and then I'll show you the rest of my skincare routine when I get up Hello, so I'm now out of the shower. Um, I'm wearing a Cookie Monster onesie, but I thought I would just sit down here and show you my skincare routine for the evening so that you can just see it clearly. But I start off like I did this morning with the British Rose Petal Soft Gel Toner. Again, I'm just gonna pop that into my hand. I would usually use like a little pad, but I can't be bothered to get one. Well, so I'm filming. So I'm just gonna push that into my skin. Again, it's nice and plumping, especially onto skin that's been, you know, freshly washed in the shower. And just kind of bring that down my neck a little bit and then just pat that in. So that's the first product that I use. Then I also, by the way, my skin will go quite red when I do my actual like skincare routine because um, that's just what it does for a few minutes and then it goes back to normal. But I do actually use two essence lotions in the evening in the morning i will use this one on its own but in the evening i will use both of them not for any particular reason just because i've got both and i just want to use them up and then i am gonna repurchase the drops of youth essence lotion because that's definitely the best one that the body shop have in terms of essence lotions because it's really hydrating but this one here is the roots of strength firming shaping essence lotion and this is a really nice hydrating one as well it's meant to like make your skin tight it's meant to prevent like aging and stuff like that, which I don't need that just yet because it's meant for people that are like maybe 50 years old. Um, the drops of youth range is aimed at like 25 to, I don't know, 35, 40. Whereas this range is probably aimed at like 45 plus, but I had it from when I used to do the body shop at home, so I'm using it. So I put that on my face, feels really hydrated and glowy and nice. Then I'm just going to go in with my second essence lotion just for extra hydration. This is the Oils of Life Intensely Revitalizing Essence Lotion. Again, you've got to give it a little bit of a shake because it's got oil in there and water and both of those are immiscible. They don't mix together. So you have to do that yourself. And I just kind of press that in like before. I am getting a couple more different skincare products actually tomorrow. That might be in another video where I do a mini like boots haul. Maybe if I've got enough stuff or I'll include it in a vlog or something. But yeah, I might do that. And basically I'm getting a few more little skincare bits. So I'll add that into my routine. However, I would like to. So it will be slightly different to this. But this is just a full face of body shop skincare products. Whereas the products that I've purchased tomorrow are not body shop, so there's no point in me using them in this video anyway. Then I'm going to moisturise using the same moisturiser as the, this morning. I'm using the Vitamin E Gel Moisture Cream. This is an amazing moisturiser. However, I am going to be repurchasing the Vitamin C Gel Moisture Cream. Is it Glow Boosting? gel moisture cream i don't know it's a really nice moisturizer that the body shop also do but it's vitamin c and i'm obsessed with vitamin c products but yeah gel moisturizers are the best they're just glowy glide into the skin and i just much prefer them they're more hydrating and i like that so I'm just kind of pressing that into my skin. So that is basically it for like skincare products. So the final product that I'm using, which isn't from the body shop, this is the only product that isn't from the body shop, but this is from my own website. This is my Fresh Face Tea Tree Oil and it's pure tea tree oil. You get 30 ml. This is still in stock on my website. So my website will be linked in the description. But yeah, I just use two to three little drops of this. Yes, I would normally put this on a little cotton pad, but you can also just pop them in your hand you don't need many drops that's why this product lasts an eternity and then just kind of press it on two specific spots this is not a product that you want to be rubbing into your skin it's a harsh product it's there to dry out your spots it's not there you know to dry out your entire face if you put it all over your face you will dry out your face you don't want that you just want it on specific spots so I don't have too too many spots i do have a few more than i normally would but i don't have loads so i just put it on the main ones and 
you might feel that like tingling a little bit and then to finish off I'm just using the Amazonian Savior Balm this is discontinued at the body shop now but I just use this as a lip balm like it's not meant for that it's meant for like tattoos and scarring and stretch marks and stuff but I don't use it for that I use it for lip balm and I think that's a great idea so there we go so this is my finished evening skincare routine. Again, my face is a little bit red from having all the products applied in one go. And I do have a few spots here or there, but if I'm consistent with my skincare routine and I'm consistent with a face mask, a different face mask each day, my skin is looking great. That's everything for this video. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe for more skincare, body shop, anything content. Like the video if you liked it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.